So I'm just taking my before photos and I do a couple angles, you guys. I do a two times and one time and you can even do a little video. All right, so I've got my color match. Now you can see I don't have as much red in my color as her skin does. I'm gonna start by what I wanna call neutralizing this and deposit some more neutral tones in her skin in this scar. And then if I need to add different pixelations and color, I'll do that on appointment number two. So we're gonna keep it a little bit more neutral and basic just because she already has a lot of red in that area. So we've cleaned the area and prepped the skin with alcohol. I have my color matched up as you saw with the swatch and now we're going to get in and get cracking. I'm using a nine curved magnum also referred to as a soft edge and we're going to go in and get my first layer of color in. And this way. So the grip with something like this is important because the tissue can move, right? And then it, you, you still need a decent grip so that you can, you know, get your color in there already. So let's go. I'm going to be working on an angle here and we're just going to start by pushing the color in and then I'm going to check and see how that deposit is. How are you doing there sensitivity wise? Oh, it's fine. Perfect. Yeah. It's not it's not painful at all good if you want to just zoom in there you can see i'm getting a really good deposit okay and then we're going to continue so i'm going to start by just making a pass over the whole area that i need to work on And you want to start off gently, you guys, because scar tissue skin grafts are, they can be so many different thicknesses and, and you don't want to overwork it right from the start. So just be gentle until you know how much it can tolerate, essentially. All right, that's going in really great. Oh, good. I already told my model, she's a model model all her good questions and you know her scars behaving itself don't forget to change your angles and the direction so i have my needles out at about 1.5 and my machine speed is at six So a skin graft like this is probably gonna take me three visits. I might have it done in two. I would price it out at three visits at $1,500. And that's in Canadian. And how I'm manipulating her skin on the nose is, is really helpful so I can get exactly the right grip on the area. So this is coming along lovely. I'm really excited for this healed result. And you can see by working gently like this, it's not causing trauma. To the scar, which is so important. So 
So signs of overworking tissue is mostly bleeding, to be completely honest. So I've got like a little pin prick up there, but I know I can still work in some of these other areas a little bit more. So I'm going to do that and just be soft and gentle. One of the awesome things about paramedical tattooing is clients aren't looking for the perfect shape eyebrow or the perfectly winged eyeliner. They're looking for improvement. And that's one of the things I love about it is these, even if they're tiny tweaks, it can be such a game changer in confidence for that person you're working on. And it's such a rewarding part of my work. I wouldn't give it up for anything. So different parts of this scar are holding the color a little bit differently. That is very normal because this skin graft has different thicknesses in the skin. So that's where you can really see where the color will hold a little bit differently. So, you know, you wanna really look at that as you're working and you can see how this color ends up looking perfect even around the existing color of her nose. I'm just, I'm really happy with how that that is looking and I'm just about done here wow right and it looks amazing you're gonna leave literally and just be a happy camper because this is you're not even really red I'm just doing a little bit of stippling for a some that like just a tiny bit of texture in there. Because again, all these fun little details are kind of what make us artists tick. So <laughs> Okay, so Kelly, tell us your journey and how you found us. Well, I wasn't even looking for you, really. I just, it, I don't know, whoever's in your social media. And uh, <laughs> I, it, you just popped up on my Instagram feed. And um, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was, I opened it up, looked at it, and just decided to follow. Because I thought, well, this looks interesting. I don't know much about um, the whole uh, permanent makeup or tattooing thing. So... Then I got interested and went to your website and I just saw so, so much of the important work that you're doing and that was why I made an inquiry because oh, I love that. Yeah, it was so you found me. Well said. I know um I do say this a lot because you know, this story, your story is so familiar and common from the clients I have. It's like, I didn't even know this existed. And right. it's like, yeah, you don't know it exists until often you are the person in need of the treatment or maybe somebody else, you know, and you do, you start doing a little deep diving on the internet. And when things like this pop up, most people are really surprised and had no idea that it even existed. So mm -hmm. one other bonus that I didn't mention is even the texture, although it's very nice, your skin graft looks amazing, this will help improve it. Mm -hmm. And the aftercare that you will be using on this is going to also improve it. So it's like a little two for one. Okay. We're gonna improve the texture of the area and the color. Okay, okay. well done.